Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 153. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Rutrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. The construction of rural roads in Pradhan Manti Gram Sadak Yojana is carried out with the cost sponsored by the correct answer is central government only. The Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana is a nationwide plan in India to provide good all-weather road connectivity to unconnected villages. Free and compulsory education to all children from 6 to 14 years age was made a fundamental right by which of the following amendments. As you can tell by the image on your right, the correct answer is 86th amendment. It states that the state shall provide free and compulsory education to all children of the age 6 to 14 years in such manner as the state may by law determine. The East-West Corridor of National Highways Development Project connects. The correct answer is Shilcha to Port Bandar. It first uh, began as National Highways Development Project and it is there to upgrade, rehabilitate and widen major highways in India to higher standards. Uh, the project was started in 1998 under the leadership of then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. The Reserve Bank of India conducts the repo or reverse repo auction at which of the following rates? The correct answer is at fixed or variable rates as the circumstances warrant. It first began in 2014 in Mumbai. It's performed to remove excess cash from the banking system. Which among the following is not an anti-inflationary measure? The correct answer is maintain a monetary and interest-based regime. In any political central bank or other agency, it takes a, a certain step to reduce inflation rate. In general, anti-inflationary measures involve raising key interest rates, sometimes dramatically, to cut down the money supply. Which among the following is true regarding relationship of inflation and purchasing power? The correct answer is, when inflation goes up, there is a decrease in the purchasing power. So, uh, purchasing power would mean more goods can be bought with the same amount of money. This would increase the demand of the goods. Increase in demands of goods would cause the price of goods to increase. Hence, with more purchasing power, there will be inflation. Lord Mayo's resolution of 1870 was related to which of the following? The correct answer is, local administration and decentralization of power and finances of central government and provinces. So both A or B and correct. So the correct answer here is both of them. Mayo's resolution started down quite a people-friendly act to facilitate the common interests of Indian population. The Indian Council of Act of 1861 introduced the policy of legislative devolution and Mayo's resolution of 1870 on financial decentralization was its likely consequence. Which year in Indian banking history is a landmark resulting from class banking to mass banking? So it brought banks to the common people. The correct answer is 1969. Uh, the government of India issued an ordinance known as Banking Companies Acquisition and Transfer of Undertakings Ordinance 1969 and nationalized the 14 largest commercial banks with effect from midnight of 19 July 1969. These banks contained 85% of bank deposits in the country. National Manufacturing Competitiveness Council was set up for the help of which of the following? The correct answer is small and medium enterprises. So National Manufacturing Competitiveness Council uh, is an establishment which was set up by the erstwhile UPA government in 2004 as a part of its common minimum program. It mandates uh, to provide a continuing forum for policy dialogue to energize and sustain the growth of manufacturing industry. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.